I was so busy in this life that I took a break. Be still and know that He is God even through art. Mabuhay! I'm Rema and welcome to my art space. I know art is an unusual tool for us to worship God and to seek Him. But He even uses those things for us to know His will. So I hope you would stay with me and listen to what the Lord has put in my heart here in Touch of Glory Prayer Mountain in Antipolo. Solitude and tranquility are some of the most valuable things that could not be easily found in the city. From time to time, I have to search for that quiet spot in order to search my own soul and most of all, try to listen to what the Lord is telling me. It's been years and I cannot count how long since I've been here. I usually went here with friends. I was also with a few of them when Tropical Storm Ondoy hit Manila so badly. This place held so many memorable moments for me, and I felt that new ones would be created even though I came here alone. This should be a very quiet and clean place, but somehow, some visitors cannot keep to themselves what's in their hearts. Every prayer left here seems to be reverberating until now. In my case, I wanted to keep my prayers between me and the Lord only, except this little passage that I've been meditating on for a while. I did not expect this passage to be something I dwell on this day. I brought with me my oil paints to try some rock painting. I wanted to paint something else to impress others this holy week. This rock by the way was from my house. I later realized that the Lord is leading me to something else so that I would have nothing to brag about. A little colorful bird eyed me as I tried to paint on the rock. I was so drawn to the bird that I started to paint it instead of what was in my head. And while painting, the first verse of Psalm 19 echoed in my mind. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. I knew it. The Lord was leading me to this passage. I abandoned the rock painting because I felt this was going nowhere. What I painted on the rock though was like an introduction to what I should be meditating on. Clearly, I was being led to Psalm 19. I turned to gouache paints to paint on my sketchbook. I really did not know what to paint, but all I know was that I would just try to capture the beauty of nature while meditating on Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. 
it rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. It took me three hours to finish the painting and it's almost five o'clock when I'm done. That's why the sun is coming down. It's a bit dimmer than it was earlier in the afternoon. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have done this here in this prayer hut. While I was painting, I was being reflective of Psalms 19. The very thought that was in my head while I was putting the colors and also the background was that everything every creation sings of the glory of god actually what i was doing was not only recording my work but actually it's more of a therapy for me and not also a therapy but also the moment for me to reflect on who the lord is as creator and as the greatest artist of all he is our father he is our provider he is everything that we can ask for and he is the king of all kings and the god of all gods the lord of lords and his majesty speaks so much in nature that it literally screams in my heart like he made all these beautiful things although i took the hut as the main subject of my painting actually it's just more of finding that perspective of what i was seeing What's important was what was going through my head while I was doing my work. And you know what? Even while painting, doing arts and crafts, you can give glory to God. You can worship God. It's because He's looking at our hearts. What our hearts are, um, what is the intention of our hearts in what we're doing? Is it to glorify Him? Are we praising Him in our hearts while we're doing our work? Are we looking at God while we're doing all our hobbies or are we being selfish that we want the glory to ourselves you know that's what the Lord is looking for a heart that is right and a heart that is humble before him if you're blessed with this video I hope you would click the like button and if you're here in my channel for the first time please do subscribe and click the bell button so you would be notified of future videos Again, my name is Rema, and I hope to see you again in my next art space. Happy Easter! Touch of Glory is open every day, and you can stay here overnight. They have a canteen here where you can order really nice food. They also have homemade goods that you can bring home, like these oatmeal cookies, mushroom chicharron, chili garlic, and bags of coffee.
it's usually almost empty during the weekdays, so it's nice to be alone with the sandwich and a cup of coffee. It's just sad that I needed to leave after staying here overnight. Until next time!